So I'm gonna break down a basic squat for you all. So if you just take um, your feet just past hip width apart, okay, so just check where your hips are, make sure your legs are further out, okay, those feet. Make sure your heels are in one line, okay, and just tap your toes, just making sure that the weight is in those heels. So you're either gonna have your hands at your temples or out in front, okay? If you're gonna put them out in front, really engage those triceps, the backs of the arms, to get the most out of the exercise. And it's sometimes, if, you're, if you've got your arms in front, it helps with balance if you're still struggling with your core, okay? If you're just new to exercise or, you know, a complete beginner. So, um, yeah, so you can have your arms out like that for balance. If you are a bit more confident with your balance, you can have your hands at your temples. So what I'm going to get you to do is sit down backwards as if you're sitting into a chair. Okay, so you're really sticking that bottom out and you're really, really holding in this belly button into the spine. Okay, imagine you're touching your belly button with your spine and you're really squeezing those abdomen muscles. Okay, so you're just going to sit down, pushing that bottom out and you're keeping this chest upright. Now, when you come up, you're pushing through the heels, up, 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 and squeeze the glutes at the top, those bottom muscles, okay? So what you want to make sure is that the knees do not overshoot your toes, okay? So when we go down, I'm just going to show you. The knees need to be over your ankles or just in front, okay? What you can't do is do, well, you can do it, but we don't want you to do it, is put the knees over the toes like this. It just puts a little bit of pressure on the knee joints, and obviously that's not safe. So that's the first thing that you really have to um, master, okay? So just really watch that. You're sticking that bottom out and pushing back up. Now, squats are great. It's really good to go over this technique and really make sure you nail it because you're working so many different muscles within a squat, okay? You're working your quadricep muscles, your glutes, the bottom, and your hamstrings. So on the way down, and it depends how far you can get down. A lot of it is to do with the flexibility in the hips and the hamstrings. So if you feel like you can't get down, the more you keep doing them, the further you will, um, the further you will be getting down. Okay, so you're sitting down. On the way down, you're really working those quadricep muscles. Okay keeping everything upright. Now on the way up, you're pushing through the heels and that activates the glute muscles and the hamstrings. So you're pushing up and you're getting a workout in the backs of those legs and the bottom, okay? So one little thing more that's really, really important, okay? If you're not feeling it in the glutes and the bottom, which a lot of people don't at the, um, at the beginning, it's because you're tilting the bottom up too much, okay? Now, this is quite difficult to explain without a meter ruler, but if you had a meter ruler, put it at the back of your head and let it uh, go down to your bottom, you should be able to just slip your hand underneath that meter ruler. So there is a slight arch in the lower spine, just not too much. If you can see the difference here, yeah, so you don't want to stick the bottom up too much because that stops the glutes from activating. I know this is really technical, but really, really important um, to just get it mastered, okay? So if you're not feeling the glutes, just check that arch. If it's too much, just don't stick at the bottom quite so much, and then make sure you're pushing through those heels, squeezing the bottom at the top, and that way you should be getting the most out of your squat, okay? So we're just going to go down and up, down, keeping that chest up, and down, and up. Excellent, that's your squat.